Hey, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm actually going to the Palace Theatre in Manchester to see My Fair Lady. Um, I've never seen My Fair Lady before so I'm really excited to see the show. And I think this might be the last venue on its tour. It's either its last one or very near to last one. Um, I'll check and I'll let you know at the end of the vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I'm sat in the stalls today, I'm on row BB. So it's technically a front row because there's no one in front of me. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I got my seat really cheap because um, it was a single seat on its own and reduced the single seats to £21.50 I think. So yeah, it was a really good price for a really good seat. And I'm really looking forward to it. It does say limited view. But I've sat in that seat a couple of times and I've never had a limited view. So I'm not sure what the limited view is. We'll see when we get there. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll show you any merch that there is. But if it's coming close to the show, I bet they've not got a lot left. We'll see what they've got. I'm hoping for a magnet, but they tend to be the first things to go. So I'm thinking I'm probably not going to get a magnet if it's near the end of its tour. Um, but I'll definitely get a program and I'll show you that at the end. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. So I've just arrived at the tram stop. And luckily I just remembered I don't need to buy a ticket. I bought one this morning when I went out with Leo, so I don't need to buy a ticket. And it's just two minutes till the trial, so not too long to wait now. And what time is it? It is ten past six, so plenty of time. just walking up to the theatre now um, it is about half six so I've got a bit of time so I'm going to cross over and take a few pictures before I head in for merch. I'm gonna get a program and a magnet. I think we might actually have magnets.
just picked up the program that was five pound fifty, and a magnet which is seven pounds, so not too bad. And I'm really, really early now. It's not even seven o'clock yet, so I think I'm just gonna have a little look around the theatre, a little walk. I've always been tempted to get these. But I don't think I will. Should I finish that half ten tonight? Hopefully that's accurate. Anyway, I'm gonna go up to the circle. I'm in the stalls, but we'll go and have a little look round. Okay, so in the circle you have Hardy's Bar, and I think this is one we used to come in a lot when we came. So, so this one's got like a really pretty uh, got really pretty tiles out here. I was like this thing of the theatre. It was really really pretty. So yeah, I like coming here and looking at this bit. It's really pretty, it's like an old part of the theatre. And obviously the other bits have been modernised. So that's one of the bars. It's quite big this one. And I'll show you the other bar. So there's also a kiosk on each level as well. This is the circles kiosk. And there's one on every level. And then this is the circle bar on the other side. The lift is in this bar. So you can get the lift from here, go up to the Grand Tier and you also go down to the store so I might as well go up to the Grand Tier and have a look since we've got time. This is the circle bar, this is quite small but there's a few seats around the corner but not very many so the other bar is much bigger than this one. So they sell the little moons here as well. A kiosk. And now this is the Grand Tier Bar. Just here. So again, this is quite small, this one. Yeah, that's the Grand Tier Bar. So I think the auditorium opens in about five minutes. But anyway, let's go back downstairs. The lift is taking ages, so I think I'm just going to walk down the stairs. It's quite a lot of stairs, but I need to do as much stuff as anyway. That actually didn't take very long. Okay, so the is getting quite busy now, so I think I'm gonna go down to the stalls bars and I can show you around those ones. I can get that. Sorry. Oops, excuse me. Just down here to the stalls. So it is about 10 to now, so about 10 minutes till the auditorium opens. The auditorium should open at 7. 
So half an hour before the show starts. So I'll quick go in there. I'll just quickly show you the bars in here. Skulls bar. And this is quite small. Both of the bars uh, in the stalls are quite small. Not very big. There's not a lot of seating. This is the bar. So it's quite small. I don't think there's too much seating around here. I'm not actually sure where those stairs go. Considering I used to work here. I can't remember where the stairs go. Let me show you the other bar. The other bar is super small. I don't think there's any seat in any other bar. So yeah, this is the orchestral pit bar. So, go in here. But yeah, this one's really small. And I think it's just only got like a few odd seats in here. Yeah, there's a toilet in here though. Small bar. Anyway, might as well head in now since it's open. Might as well head in. Let's see what side I need to go in. Okay, so I'm on this side. So, yeah, I'm on row BB, seat 33. So, right at the front. Oh, there's the stage. Very nice. So, yeah. here we go. 31, 32, 33. So, this is my seat. And this is my view from my seat. So, it's not too bad. It does say limited view, probably because of the lighting rig here. Might block your view a little bit. But, yeah, pretty good view. I only paid £21 for this seat. so pretty good okay so i'm just in the auditorium now it's starting to fill up a bit and the view is really good from my seat actually um much better than i thought it's going to be there's no really restricted view there's just a lighting rig i don't think that'll restrict it too much um but yeah i'm looking forward to it starting it's still about 20 minutes where it starts this is just about starting to fill up now so yeah i'm going to take my seat and i'll probably get back to you now in the I think this is the orchestral pit. Let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, it's covered over. It looks like they've got quite a big orchestra for this one.
is now the interval and I'm really enjoying the show. I'm enjoying it much more than I thought I would. It's really, really good. So I will definitely tell you more about it when we get home, but definitely enjoying it ever so far to the interval. So there's actually currently a show stop. Um, one of the pieces of props that have moved forward for uh, in about 10 minutes now so it stops so hopefully we can get this. The show has finished now, it was so good. Really, really enjoyed it. So I can run and get the tram now and head home, but yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So I'm just at the tram stop now, waiting for the tram. It's two in six minutes, so at least not too long. the next day and I just thought I'd talk a little bit about the show uh, so obviously I went to see My Fair Lady at the Palace Theatre in Manchester I went to a Thursday evening showing uh, it started at 7.30 uh, it actually happened to be press night that night um, so it was quite busy and I was sat in the stalls I was on row BB seat 33 and it's like a front row seat, there's no one sat in front of me. The view was excellent, although on my ticket it said it's a limited view. The only thing I can think of is you have the lighting rig at the side, but it doesn't really block any any view. Uh, there was nothing in the show that I missed at all. Um, it is a side-on view, but it wasn't, I think the seat 
next to mine probably would have been a much more limited view. You might not have seen anything on the left hand side. You might have missed some stuff on the left hand side. But the seat that I sat in, you didn't miss anything. So it's an excellent seat to sit in. I only paid £21.50 for that seat because it was a single seat on its own. I'm not sure how much they were full price. I'm guessing maybe £40, maybe more. I'm not sure. But it was an excellent view from that. I definitely recommend that seat. If I can sit there again, I definitely will because there's loads of leg room as well. Um, because there's obviously no seats in front of you. Also, you're right near the orchestral pit. So I love to look in the orchestral pit and see the orchestra. And it was a really big orchestra for this show. I think it's a 16-piece orchestra for this show. And they had loads of instruments down there. And... Yeah, it was, a, it was lovely to be so close to the orchestra and be able to look in there and see the musicians. So there was uh, merch for this show. They had quite a lot of merch. They had t-shirts, hoodies, key rings, magnets, pens. Uh, I think there was a tote bag. I did film all the merch and I think I took a picture of the price list as well. I did buy a magnet and a programme. So I just got the house program, so that's £5.50 and the magnet was £7. Yes, the magnet was £7. This is the magnet. There we go, it's focusing. So I love the pink colour on this, I think it's really pretty. So yeah, that was £7. So I had never seen My Fair Lady before, I hadn't watched the film, didn't really know what the story was about. Um, so if you've never seen it before, I'll just briefly tell you the storyline so it is about a cockney flower seller called Eliza Doolittle and she ends up meeting Henry Higgins who is a professor a phonetics professor and she asks him if he can teach her how to speak like a lady uh, at first he says no but then his friend Colonel Pickering has a bet with him to say he bets he can't do it and that he will pay for the for Eliza's lessons um, so he then agrees and to win the bet he has to be able to pass her off at the ball um, they have so she has to be able to go to the ball and uh, not get found out by anyone that she's not a lady um, so Eliza then moves into Henry Higgins's house um, while she takes the lessons to become a lady and that is basically the story. So My Fair Lady features some classic songs which I think most people will have heard of because I hadn't watched or seen the, hadn't seen the show and I hadn't watched a movie, but I knew some of the songs. So obviously I could have danced all night and Wouldn't It Be Lovely were the two that I had heard. Um, but it has a lot of good songs in uh, My Fair Lady. I'd say they're more bit more old school style songs for musicals um which isn't my favorite style of songs but i did really enjoy the music and the songs in this one so the set in this i actually really enjoyed i thought it was really nice and to be sat so close you could see all the detail in it so the main set was like um henry higgins two story house and this would rotate so that you could see all the different rooms in the house and you could it would rotate while they were walking round it so that it would rotate and they'd walk through the different doors and you could see the different um rooms in the house it was really effective i thought it was really clever and that could be rolled on and off the stage um so they had other set pieces that would drop down for when they were outside um i think they had a door uh, for when they were outside the house that would be rolled onto the stage uh, but yeah, I really liked it. And then they had some backdrops, watercolour backdrops that they would use, which were really nice. And yeah, I just thought the stage was really good. And uh, the house was really detailed. There was a lot of props on that set. And I just thought, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really nice. So the costumes for this show were absolutely beautiful. I loved all the costumes. And of course, being sat so close, I could see all the detail in the costumes and they were just really beautiful. Uh, I think my favourite costumes probably were from the Ascot scene where they were all dressed up and those costumes were beautiful. Um, to be honest, the, all the costumes for, for this were really gorgeous. So yeah, they did really well with, with all the costumes. So the entire cast of this show were outstanding. I thought they all gave excellent performances. I really enjoyed Charlotte Kennedy 
as Eliza. I thought she did a great performance. Um, I loved her Cockney accent at the beginning and then I loved her posh accent once she was ladyified. Um, yeah, she did a great performance. She did Her singing voice was excellent as well. She did really good in all the big numbers and I just thought she did an outstanding job. Okay, so I'll now just give you a quick look at the programme uh, and go through the cast list as well and show you who the cast were. Okay, so this is the front of the programme and I have to say the quality of this feels a lot better than the last few programmes that I've had from the palace. Uh, the quality just seems a bit better. They're still quite thin, they're not as thick as the Lowry programmes but this just feels better than the last few that I've had. So on the first page here, I have some information about the Palace Theatre and, oh, and what shows are coming there this year. And you have some more information about the Palace Theatre here. Some more information. Uh, you've got an advert for Little Moons, which they now sell in the Palace Theatre. And then you go on to your My Fair Lady stuff. So this page has your cast list here. We have your understudies. Creative team. Stage management. And then it just says here... The place is London, the time is 19.13. Act 1 is 1 hour and 30 minutes uh, with a 15 minute interval and Act 2 is an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so it's quite a long show, obviously it's 3 hours long. We actually had a show stop as well, I forgot to say. We had a show stop, probably for about, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. I think what it was, was the, um, the set the big rotated house set. It didn't seem to move forward when it was supposed to. Uh, so I think something went wrong with that at some point and they had to fix it. Um, but yeah, we had a 20 minute show stop. So uh, we were in there for three hours and 20 minutes. Uh, and then underneath that it says the production opened at the Lincoln Centre Theatre on the 19th of April, 2018. It then says the production opened at the London Coliseum on the 18th of May 2022. And then on here you have your scenes and musical numbers. So we have Act 1. Uh, this is at the top, an hour and 30 minutes. And then it just goes through all the scenes in Act 1. And then Act 2, it says an hour and 15 minutes. With all the scenes in Act 2. And then it tells you the instruments here that are used. So you've got violin, cello, double bass, flute, uh, clarinet, horn, trumpets, trombone, drums, slash percussion. And then we go on to the cast biographies. So playing Henry Higgins, we had Michael Xavier. Uh, he is an award-winning West End and Broadway star. He's a two-time Olivia Award nominee. Um, it says he's most recently starred on screen playing recurring roles Elliot Wallace in Grantchester. Never seen that. Uh, what theatre shows has he done? So he played the wolf slash Cinderella's prince in Into the Woods at the Open Air Theatre. She's also been in Sunset Boulevard, been in Spam a lot, he's been in My Fair Lady before. So he's done he's done a lot of stuff. Then we have Charlotte Kennedy playing Eliza Doolittle. So she was uh, the cover Eliza when the show was on at the London Coliseum. And she's also played Corsette in Les Mis. Then we had Adam Woodett. Woodett? I can never say his name. Woodett. He is obviously most well known for his EastEnders role as Ian Beale. Uh, he played the character from the beginning, and yeah, he's been in that. Sh he's been in that show, I think, since yeah, it says here since 1985. 
and he's starting over 3,460 episodes. Um, but he says before he joined EastEnders, he had some successful roles in the theatre. He was in Oliver, he was in On the Razzle. So, yeah, and he was really good. I thought he was um, really good as, Eli as Eliza's dad. Then we had Heather Jackson as Mrs. Higgins. So she's played Madame Jeery in the West End production of The Phantom of the Opera uh, for nine years. And she left this show in 2009. So she played Mrs. Higgins in the London production of My Fair Lady. Uh, so yeah, she's had a number of theatre roles. Then we had John Middleton playing Colonel Pickering. Again, I thought he was really good. So he says he's best known for his part in Emmerdale as Ashley Thomas. Uh, this is a role which he, he remained in from 1996 to 2017. We then had Leslie Garrett playing Mrs. Pierce. Uh, and she is actually a well-known soprano. She's regularly appeared in in opera, uh, music theatre concerts and television. So then we had Tom Liggins as Freddy and then we have your ensemble members. So it's quite a big cast, there's quite a few ensemble members. And some swings as well. Okay, so that is the cast. Uh, we then have the creative biographies here. Producer biographies. And have some pictures from the UK and Ireland tour company. Try not get the glare on it. There we go. And then you've just got a few adverts to show what is coming on at the Palace and Opera House. And then there's some information here about the Ambassador Theatre Group. And then you've got your booking and venue information at the back. And that is everything in the programme. Some information there about uh, theatre cards. So yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed this show. I give it a solid four stars. I've even recommended it to my parents and they've actually bought tickets to go and see the show next week because it's still on at the Palace next week. So yeah, it's actually on the Palace until the 1st of April. So you've still got another week where you can go and see it. So I will obviously link down below where you can get tickets for the Palace shows. Um, uh, I can't link below where it's going next because the Palace is actually its last stop on the tour. I will however link the My Fair Lady's official website down below just in case you want to find out some more information about the show. So yeah I hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog. If you do enjoy theatre vlogs please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when my next theatre vlog goes up. I do have a ticket to see Cake next week which is a new musical. Uh, this is the Marie Antoinette musical. Um, so I have that booked for next week at the Lowry 
so that will be going up next week so if you would like to see that theatre vlog like I said please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as that video goes up so like I said I hope you have enjoyed this little bit if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon bye